Today, we're opening up one of the first Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever made, Ancient Sanctuary. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. Today, we have a first edition Ancient Sanctuary box that we're going to be opening. This was sent in by Luis to be opened for him. So, shout out to Luis in the comments because we get to open up the 11th set ever made booster box form sealed. This is going to be pretty incredible. I don't even know what the secret is. I haven't checked if it's hobby or retail. Don't remember off the top of my head for Ancient Sanctuary. So, we're just going to find out. Hopefully, we're going to pull it. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ghost from the Past, the second haunting display. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications notifications and let me know what you want to see from ancient sanctuary if it's not moki moki you're wrong all right let's hop into this booster box opening because i'm excited for this for luis we want to pull something amazing like dark magic deck the uh burst stream of destruction the secret rare moki moki of course let's see if we can keep this box in nice shape it's very it's actually very solidly wrapped okay let's get this open there we go all right perfect got it all right let's rip this bad boy open on camera Let's see what's inside. First edition Ancient Sanctuary packs. Okay, shocking. Wow, packs from the same set of the box that we opened. It's pretty amazing, I know. Let's get into it. 24 booster packs. I have opened, I think, three or four of these boxes. Probably four at this point on the channel. This was one... Actually, it was the first OG box that I opened on my channel. It was in, like, the dark. I was doing it with, like, a flashlight. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. Just for the old time's sake. It's pretty funny. And speaking of checking it out, recently I've been streaming on Twitch. I streamed five days in a row this week until I left for Hartford. I haven't left for Hartford yet because you're seeing this video. But by the time you see it, I will be there or at least have been there. So, uh, yeah. Go check out the Twitch stream. Five days in a row, we've been doing some pretty awesome Nuzlocke stuff for Pokemon. It's been a lot of fun. All right, Desert Sunlight. We're also going to do some more Master Duel at some point. Spirit Caller. Let's see if we can pull in something amazing. Blessings of the Nile. Soul Reversal. Aswan Apparition. Judgment of the Desert. Absorbing Kid from the Sky. This is always a funny artwork. He's Absorbing Kid from the Sky. All right, nice. And a Talisman of Trap Ceiling. We are starting it off with a regular rare, but that's okay. 24 packs or 23 packs to go i should say at this point it is possible in these packs to get like one secret one ultra but we really want one secret two ultras you might not get you know you might not get that at all you might not even get a secret so hopefully we do get that let's go rocket jumper the gigabyte i mean that does not look like storage on a computer that's all i gotta say we got the monster gate that's actually a pretty good card night assailant very good card this just recently came off the limited list it is now unlimited so oh, wow get your night assailants now per on army i'm just kidding don't get them now i mean they're, they're not really going to be in more demand solar flare dragon we got the law of the normal the opti camouflage armor there's a lot of like normal type stuff going on in here and the king of the swamp, so you can grab your polymerization whenever you want. Use this in Duel Links farming decks all the time. Next pack. Let's go to the next one. Also, by the way, Luis did send us another booster box that will be open probably in tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys check that video out. It's going to be pretty epic and pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. But first, I'm excited about pulling a Moki Moki out of this box. I remember when I opened this box, I pulled one Moki Moki. He's actually pretty hard to pull. He's a short print out of Ancient Sanctuary. Then Jitsu Art. we got the Arcane Archer of the Forest, the Dust Barrier. Emissary of the Oasis, the Unhappy Girl, Micro Ray, Disc Fighter, there he is, Frozen with the Discs, and Draining Shield, very nice, it's a cool card, uh, very annoying in Duel Links as well, old Duel Links, not new Duel Links, new Duel Links, I'm not sure if anyone plays it anymore, but if they do, before it actually got like, you know, roasted by Master Duel, it was pretty insane, like you were like, XC summoning and doing all this stuff, it's Pendulums even, it was much different than now, so... Let's uh, let's just keep it back at the old Duel Links while we're talking about this. Sand Gambler. We got the Wall of Revealing Light. Newly. Now, is it at two or three now? This one was also limited to one because, like, you could push yourself down to 1,000 life points in, like, last turn and do all these crazy stuff. But, you know, no one's doing that anymore. Backfire. Three Hump Liquid. You probably lose by then in the second turn. Earthquake. Wait, what's going on with all this? There's some weird print dots on here. That's actually kind of cool. So, you don't see that very often. A little bit of a mini misprint there. Human Wave Tactics, there's all our Moki Mokis just chilling right there. And Stone Statue of the Aztecs, the first super rare. And talk about some horrible centering. Look at this. It's so small on this side, on the gray border. So by the way, if you're watching, you're like, what is he talking about? What is centering? The right side. See how that gray border is very thin compared to the left side? It's very thick. That's because the whole thing is shifted this way. So that is not good when you're grading the card. You don't want it to be off-centered. Unless it's like extremely off-centered and there's like no border on one side, that's actually good because it's like a misprint. That's just off-centered and not good. That's what it is. Okay, let's keep going. Got to check that we're recording every time, you know, just freaking out about past problems where I didn't record and 
ruined everything. Who <laughs> up in charge? The protector of the sanctuary ordered to charge. There's, that's a pretty nice normal card. The metal armored bug. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Twenty eight hundred two tribute solar ray, goblin king, mystic walk, and Theban nightmare. And that actually reminded me. I don't know if you guys know this, but did you know that if you have a monster that's level like nine or ten, it's still only two tributes, it's not three tributes. I thought it was three tributes when I was a kid, and ever since then I've thought that. It's because specific monsters say like it requires three tributes, but if it doesn't say it requires three tributes, it's only two tributes. Is that not crazy? So some stuff that was like level 10, you thought, oh yeah, I need three tributes. You don't. You actually need two. Spirit Caller. We got the Blessings of the Nile. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Beckoning Light. The Kickman. We got Swords of the Soul Eater. Nubian Guard. Kozaki. Special Hurricane. All right, so so far, one foil. We've also got a Special Hurricane. This is always an interesting set to open because this set came out right after Invasion of Chaos, one of the most hype and best sets ever. And then it kind of followed up with sort of a dud in terms of like competitive play. There's not a lot, like a ton of things in here that you want. So it's pretty weird one because it's so old and it's super like, I mean, nostalgic OG set. And it's just kind of in the middle of like, okay, it's the worst OG set, but it's still an OG set. So we got the Fiend Scorpion, Labyrinth of Nightmare. There's still some pretty cool stuff in here that you can get. Piranha Army, Solar Flare Dragon, The Law of the Normal, Opti Camouflage Armor. And is it the next one? Oh, and a Blowback Dragon, Ultra Rare. I don't think I've ever pulled this one out of all the boxes I've opened. This is pretty sick. Wow, the centering? Not good. A little bit of a nick up there, it seems like, too. Yeah, a little bit of a nick, but very nice card. Oh, yeah, it's very small. Oh, wow, those corners. This can happen on Ancient Sanctuary. One time I did open a Dark Magic attack. It was the second time I pulled it, and I put it into a sleeve, so we're going to be really careful here. And it actually destroyed the corners, so we're going to try not to do that. But, like, these corners can be a little iffy on Ancient Sanctuary, so that's actually not unusual i would say well it might be unusual but it's not insanely unusual because i personally have experienced it and i've only opened four boxes before this so yeah uh it can happen unfortunately i have also had boxes where i pulled and they were like got tens so some of the stuff can be tens some of it cannot or some of it will not dust barrier we got the sonic jammer elephant statue of blessing the desert sunlight Destapati Desert Desert Taper. There we go. Two thousand needles. Oh, two thousand needles. I didn't know there was another one. It's a tribute version, of course. Goblin Thief. The Order to Smash. Another pretty good card with Hades on there. That's funny. And a Grave Protector. He's grave and he's protected, or he's from the grave and he's protected, or both. Uh oh, destroyed this pack. We gotta be careful. Keep the packs in nice shape. Uh oh, for the collect. Well, his collection, I guess. I mean, I don't want to rip them up since they're his. All right. Enchanting Fitting Room, Sand Gambler, Wall of Revealing Light, now not limited to one, Rocket Jumper, the Nubian God, Sword of the Soul Eater, Backfire, Second Car, <laughs> Second Car Sophagus, or should I say Sarcophagus, and Spirit of the Fair, wait, another Ultra Rare? Okay, interesting, okay, two Ultra Rares like really close together, that's kind of weird, let's check out the corners on the back, yeah, a little bit of whitening on that one too. Yeah, okay, it's not horrible, but there's a little bit going on there. So another Ultra, centering yet again, is a little bit off. So two Ultras already, that's pretty weird. We didn't even mix it up or anything. It just kind of happened like that. So let's see how this turns out. That's a good thing, though. That means you're not getting a one Ultra box already. We know that. We'll see. Can you possibly get a three Ultra box? It is possible. That'd be pretty insane. Labyrinth of Nightmare. We've got the Regenerating Mummy. The Weapon Change. Nice. That was pretty cool artwork. Check this out. Like that. Protector of the Sanctuary, the Emissary of the Oasis, the Unhappy Girl, Disc Fighter, there he is, Frozone, Soul Reversal, and Talisman of the Spell Ceiling. We're only 10 packs in, and we've pulled three foils, two of them being Ultras. Not bad. What else can we pull? We've got the Kick Man. There he is. He's Karate Man. Let's see what we can do. Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Beckoning Light. Oh, and we have done it. We pulled the Moki Moki, an outcast angel. Nobody knows what he is thinking at all. Sometimes he gets mad, and that is dreadful. <laughs> oh, nobody knows what he is thinking at all. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's a question mark right there. It's like, what is he thinking? Vampire Lady, that's pretty cool. Oh, Rux and Special Pass the Kickman. Order Smash, very cool. 2,000 Needles, the Goblin Thief, and... Ooh, Sanctuary in the Sky, a fourth foil. Incredible. Four foils on the right side. That's insane. Okay, this is a good start. We've only 11 packs in. There's still 13 more packs here. 
Hopefully we're going to end up with that nice secret rare as well. That'd be pretty big. All right, there's the metal armor bug at it again. Let's go. Dora of Fate. Mystical Shine Ball. Delta Attacker. Feed Scorpion. Metal Armored Bug. Solar Ray. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. And the Seal Master Mise. There he is. He's going to fix your car up for you, Seal Master baby. Left side. What can we pull? Can we pull a secret rare? Let's top this epic opening off with a secret rare. So far, pretty good. Two ultra rares, two super rares. Can we get something else? Regenerating Mummy. Weapon Change. Protector of the Sanctuary. Mermaid Knight. Solar Ray. Goblin King. There he is. Mystic Walk. Emissary of the Oasis. And... Emissary of the Afterlife. Another super rare. Yet again, off-center to the same direction. Like, they're all cut the exact same way. Supers and Ultras. Supers are a little bit worse on the centering, though. Still a long ways to go. What else can we pull for Luis? Let's pull something epic, like a secret rare. The Nubian Guard. Very cool. He's from Nubia. All right. Blessings of the Nile. Jujitsu Master. Beckoning Light. Another Moki Moki. No one knows what he's thinking, but we've now got two of them that we don't know what they're thinking. Nubian Guard. Backfire. Second Sarcophagus. Three Hump Lakuda. And... Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. This used to actually be money. I don't think it is anymore, but it's still first edition, so it probably is a little bit of money. Another rare. That's fine. Two Moki Mokis, though. Looking good. Looking good. Let's pull something else epic. We've got Piranha Army as our tease. Where's the secret rare? We've got the Delta Attacker. Elephant Statue of Disaster. The Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare. About six, six sets ago. Piranha Army. Metal Armored Bug. The Man Throw Trio, or Man Throw Tro, sorry. He's throwing Ojama Yellow, which is hilarious. Uh, the Law of the Normal, and Thousand Energy. I don't remember this card at all. Thousand Energy, what does that even mean? It's like there's no units. It's just Thousand Energy. Thousand Walking. Like, like what does that mean? <laughs> it, I don't know what it means. All right, cool. Very cool, very cool. But what we are looking for is a secret rare. Dust Barrier. Nice. Sonic Jammer. It's like Sonic, but jamming. All right. Spirit Caller. I don't know what that meant. 2,000 Needles. Order to Smash. Soul of the Soul Eater. Sword of the Soul Eater. The Kick Man. He's kicking. It's soccer. An Avatar of the Pot. He's got a Pot of Greed on his head. It's pretty creepy. It's pretty creepy. Mini Packs to go. Also, if you didn't already, go check out the Twitch stream. The Twitch channel will be linked down below, hopefully flashed up on the screen. Go follow. We've been doing a lot of streams over there. It's been a lot of fun. Monster Gate. We got Night Assailant. That's number two. Okay, this... Oh my gosh. Look at the centering. It's even worse. This one's almost all the way off. Look at this. There's no border. This border is massive. That is crazy. Oh, we wrecked the special Dora of Fate. We've got the Mystical Shine Ball. Three Humps Lakuda. Earth Quack. Solar Flar Dragon. Human Wave Tactics. What will it be? Spell economics. So, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I really didn't, like, enjoy taking economics, so maybe no spell economics for me. Next pack. First edition. Let's go. The Oswan Apparition. Very nice. Can we pull a secret rare? Order to charge. Very nice quick play spell. Mermaid Knight. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Arcane Archer of the Forest. Oswan Apparition. Judgment of the Desert. Oh, that's actually sick. I've never really looked at this artwork. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Absorbing Kit from the Sky yet again. The Goblin Thief. The Agent of Creation. Venus. Very nice. Can we get a secret? We haven't pulled a foil in a while. We started off hot, and now we're a little bit cold. So, can it change right here? We have Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. Beckoning Light. Vampire Lady. Chanted Fitting Room. 2,000 Needles. Seven. The shortest name in Yu-Gi-Oh. Order to Smash. The Kickman. Grave Protector. He's protecting those graves. Maybe he's from the grave, and he's protecting people who are not in the grave. I don't really know. I, someone will have to explain that. It looks like he's coming out of the grave, or maybe he is chained to the grave. I don't know. I'm looking at him over there, and I'm not, I'm not really sure, even still, after looking at the artwork. Next pack, we got the Mystical Shine Ball. Nice for those normal combos with the, the Venus that we just pulled. Delta Attacker, the Elephant Statue of Disaster. Fiend Scorpion. Goblin King. Mystic Walk, Emissary of the Oasis, Micro Ray, and Double Costin. So you can tribute Dark Magician for only one tribute. 
Wow, that sounds incredible. Dark Magician for one tribute? Wow, pretty amazing. I know, I know, pretty awesome. About three or four more, I think four more packs now. This is the fourth to last. Can we actually get a foil? Because have we gotten one on this side? Something like that? One on this side, and it was the very first pack. Pharaonic Protector, Desert Sunlight. Well, we can't grab it. Spirit Caller, Blessings of the Nile, Aswan Apparition, Soul Reversal, Absorbing Kid from the Sky, Goblin Thief, and Triangle Power. And that looks like, is that a pyramid? Is that the Triangle Power? It's a, a pyramid. Interesting. Do you think they had triangle power back in ancient Egypt? They just used, you know, triangle power because of all the pyramids around them? Who knows? I don't know. I really don't, to be honest. I don't know if they did or not. Can we get something here? Will we get a secret rear? Rocket jumper. Monster gate. Nice. Knight assailant. Play set of three. Also way off center again. Dora of fate. Oh, Rux and special. The man throw. Tro. Very nice. Law of the normal. Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray, and an Amplifier. Oh, this one's actually pretty centered. The best centering of any of them so far. It's not great, but it's still there. This is the Jinzo Helmet. You put it on Jinzo, and Jinzo becomes insane. So this is actually a pretty sick card. Definitely one of the best super rares, in my opinion, in terms of you know artwork and stuff like that. And iconicness with the anime and everything like that. Two more packs. Can we get a secret? So far, six foils. We could still get a secret, but we might not. I'm hoping that we do. Let's get it for Luis. Thanks again to Luis, Luis for sending us these. So, uh, yeah, let him know in the comments that you are appreciating the opening. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer, The Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Micro Ray, Disc Fighter. There's Frozone. White Magician Peekaroo. Is that the first time we've seen that? Judgment of the Desert, another cool artwork. And the Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. It all comes down to this, the final pack of the opening, first edition Ancient Sanctuary box. This has been a pleasure to open, pretty awesome. Thanks again, Louise, for sending it in. I always enjoy opening these old school cards, and you guys know it, you guys enjoy watching it. So make sure to shout out Louise in the comments. Let's go. Can we get a secret rare in the final pack? We got a Vampire Lady, Chained Fitting Room, Sand Gambler, Wall of Revealing Light, Earthquake, Piranha Army, Human Wave Tactics. Is it the next one? No, it's the next one. Solar Flare Dragon. And it's a soul resurrection. We're going to have to resurrect our soul after no secret. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust, Cards, Tone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Draxtree, Moose, Junior Barding, and then the Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.